Hey guys, here's my 2019 Ram Power Wagon. Wanted to give you a little bit of an ownership review on it. I picked it up, uh, when did I pick this up? Maybe about two months ago. And in that time I put about 4,000 kilometers on there. A lot of that was the commute back uh, home because I drove 13 hours to get this and 13 hours back to bring it home. Uh, so I got a pretty, pretty good price on it. Um, the odometer reads 30,000 kilometers, and I just wanted to kind of give you a review. Now, just some context into uh, my vehicle ownership. Uh, not of this vehicle, but I, my, the first truck I ever bought was in 2016. I got the uh, Toyota Tacoma, the newest generation, the first year that the new, I think it's the third gen that came out. Bought one of those. It was the Access Cab. It was a great truck. I have no complaints about it, other than the fact that um, the transmission, and I did say this in a previous review, the transmission, it, you're kind of searching for gears. Obviously, a, a nice fix for that would have been a manual transmission. Uh, from the Tacoma, I went to a Gen 1 Ford Raptor, traded in my Tacoma for the Gen 1 Raptor. Absolutely loved that truck. It was a 2012. I had no issues at it whatsoever, and it kind of gave me a love for larger displacement engines. Um, and as you can see here, that's what I have, a larger displacement engine. From the Raptor, uh, during that time when I bought the Raptor, the, the payments were a little hefty, especially for an older vehicle. Um, it was used and it was old, so the financing that they provided wasn't uh, as long a term as I wanted. So, regrettably, I did trade in the... I sold the Raptor, actually, outright. And then I purchased uh, a 2019 Ford Ranger. That was my next truck purchase just before this one. Now, I'll tell you this, guys. The Ford Ranger, I had no issue with it at all. I shouldn't say that. In terms of the way that it drove, the economy, uh, the utility, I had no issue with it. And it was a truck that I thought that I'd kind of keep for a long time. So I put an ARE uh, topper on the back there. I put the deck drawer system. It was really decked out really nice. It had a, uh, a lift. It had some nice 33-inch uh, KO2s. It was a beautiful looking truck. You guys can actually see that. Um, I did some reviews on that uh, on this channel as well. When this generation of the, the Rams came out in the Power Wagon, I looked at it and I was like, I want that truck. I couldn't afford it brand new, I'll tell you that right now. But I always, I saw it and I just fell in love with it. And ever since then, I have not looked back. And uh, like I said, I found this deal. I drove a long, far distance to pick it up, and I traded my Ranger for it. Obviously, there's some negative equity, but it was a decision that I was um, happy to make. So this is my truck, and um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you a little, you know, some of the differences from the Ranger and, uh, I guess, just living with this truck overall. Now, obviously, fuel mileage, if you do care about that, that is a... <laughs> a big difference between both these vehicles, right? Um, the Ranger, I was averaging about 12.5, uh, I should say about 12.0 12 liters per 100 kilometers. Not bad at all. This guy, uh, commuting to work, I go out, drive on the highway, so I'm looking at about 18.6 on the low end. So on a good day, 18.6. Driving around town or whatever, uh, that would bring it up to about 19.8 liters per 100 kilometers. So not good at all. Um, but uh, that being said, it's it's not horrendous, especially for a heavy-duty vehicle. Um, this guy has a 6.4-liter uh, Hemi engine. Uh, it's a 2,500. Um, and this generation actually comes with the 8-speed transmission, which is super smooth. No uh, qualms about that. This guy, as you know, the Power Wagon comes with a worn winch. Uh, works absolutely awesome uh, when I bought this the fair lead that was on the front this guy it was kind of dented on this side right here and I didn't know if it was missing one of these hooks because I didn't know if there was actually supposed to be two I think in some cases you can buy fair lead with two uh, so I replaced it and got a brand new one for about $200 Canadian and put it on there um, 12,000 pound worn winch sorry I didn't wash this guys this is kind of impromptu um, one thing that I liked about the Ranger that the the uh, Ram doesn't have, and obviously this is nitpicking here, but the Ranger, if you had the key within proximity, like in your pocket or something, you just have to put your hand here, opens up. This guy, you have to physically take the fish the key out of your pocket, 
such hard work, right? And then press obviously the the unlock here to open the door. So that's one kind of creature comfort. Um, you can get adaptive cruise control in these. This truck is not outfitted with it, as far as I know. Um, some of the the bonuses you get in this, you get a heated steering wheel. You obviously get heated seats. Um, the awesome front and rear lockers. You have the sway bar disconnect. One negative for this guy, I would have to say, is this rotary dial for the um, to change gears and to to uh, switch from drive, neutral, park, and reverse. I kind of wish that you just had the the column shifter, the good old column shifter, or even the the shifter that's usually right here. Four wheel drive and four low neutral is all activated uh, from this lever right here. These are not auxiliary switches. It's like the uh, uh, it's, it's not powered up right now, but one is like the rear park sensor, um, uh, what do you call that? I'm having a brain fart. To to get rid of the beeping of the rear and the front. Sorry guys, I just kind of had a brain fart. Um, what else do we have here? You, I don't have the, the massive screen that Ram has. Uh, this was, one's kind of like in the middle. Um, the interior is, re it's a really nice truck to be in. And I'll just say this guys, the, compar the biggest comparison between this and my my Ranger and even my Tacoma is when you're in this vehicle this thing is you feel safe you feel completely protected this thing is massive it feels that way on the road but it's it's a pleasant riding experience one thing that I did notice though and it's a, a pro for the, the the Ranger is that the suspension on the Ranger I had the FX4 package the suspension was absolutely beautiful totally dialed in this is a heavy duty truck the suspension is stiffer it's a stiffer ride and for for many reasons right you're with a heavy duty truck you want to be able to to move a lot of weight payload towing that kind of thing so you will need a stiffer suspension to kind of compensate for that so that that is one thing if you're kind of driving at highway speeds and you go over a pretty significant bump the suspension is stiff, so it doesn't really inspire that much confidence. Um, on the vehicle, when I bought it, were these Dynapro AT2s. Uh, from memory, I believe the 35, where is it? 35, 12, 50, R18. So 18-inch rim. Uh, these are Mayhem wheels. I don't know much about them, but the, the red accents, at first I thought it was a little gaudy, but the red accents kind of go well with uh, the red accents on the vehicle itself. So the 6.4 liter badging, heavy-duty badging. Um, it also came with a Tonu cover. On the back here, it's a soft one that kind of rolls up. Um, here's a, a benefit of the, the power wagon over the um, Ranger. Just press this button twice. Uh, focus here. Oh, well, that, that opens it up. Or, sorry, that starts it up. You can hear the 6.4. But this guy right here, I meant to say, it, with the tailgate, press it twice. Tailgate comes down, and you're laughing. So that's awesome. Uh, nice little creature comfort So here you can hear the idle uh, parking sensors all around um, Sliding rear window Open this guy up at the back Lots of room back here um, one nice thing and I said this about the uh, the Ranger I didn't like the fact that in the Ranger You couldn't lift the seat up the whole way it I forget. Oh yeah, you know what? The seat at the back here actually came downwards, and it wasn't a flat surface. This, what they do in Ram here, which I kind of, which I think is nice, and it's the same on the other side. But they give you this little platform here. You can open it up, and then you flip it over this way, and all of a sudden you have a flat surface on the ground. And it goes the same for the other side. There's a flip over portion there, so you have a big long flat surface. One day I, um, I was at work, worked overnight, and. Uh, um, I was a little tired to go on the road to head back home, so I kind of just opened this up and slept on it, and it was absolutely horrible. So I don't recommend that. Get a mattress or something if you're going to do that. And I don't know how much weight this can hold, to be quite honest with you. So the back here, there's a lot of room, comfortable. It's a beautiful, wonderful place to be in. Um, going to shut, shut her off. To shut her off, just press that button again. There you go. Seats are fully adjustable. Um, this is like a partial leather or maybe a pleather with a cloth interior. And the, the uh, this is really nice over here where you have like the tire treading. It's pretty cool. Power wagon kind of uh, stamped or sewn into the seat itself. Tons of storage. Um, got my Corona mask over there. Um, and this actually flips up to be a seat within itself. 
So that's pretty neat. Um, what else? What's another positive for you guys? Like I said, like in the the Ranger, the transmission, the ten speed that Ford came out with, with was absolutely smooth. I like I said, guys. Other than the fact that it was a smaller displacement engine, like you're talking a um, four cylinder turbo. What is that? A two point two point three liter EcoBoost. So other than the fact like that it's a smaller engine, it was a beautiful truck and it was a great truck and it handled well. I had no issues with it whatsoever. To get a power wagon was my, it was my decision because it's something that I really wanted to do, even though a lot of people may think that's not wise and obviously it isn't. If you guys are going to be getting a vehicle, obviously when you trade it to dealerships and whatnot, you're losing money. You're going to be losing money, right? So, I mean, I've gone through so many vehicles, guy, and I, I want to say that I want to keep this guy, but you never know. But all I got to say is that I do love the, oh yeah, the fog lights on, on this truck absolutely awesome like this thing lights up the entire road you can even see right here the way that they're kind of angled like when you activate those fog lights oh my gosh like the peripherals the lateral light that that just blasts out there is really impressive the lighting on this truck is so good um you got the cab lights up there just a great truck guys tow hooks so i just wanted to kind of give you my experience with it I, I i love it so far no issues obviously i've only had it for 4,000 kilometers got the extended warranty on it but it's been an awesome truck really really love being inside this truck um if you're gonna get one uh, i do recommend it um if you have any questions about ownership just let me know and i'll answer them as best as i can but so far i gotta say i'm completely happy with the truck they always say you know there's no replacement for displacement and i'm just what i've learned especially after having the tacoma with the three point is it 3.6 liter v6 and then the uh four to the 2.3 liter eco boost you know my, the two favorite trucks that i've ever had was the raptor with the 6.2 liter and then now this uh power wagon with a 6.4 i would have liked to have like a 2500 diesel but um it is what it is maybe maybe later maybe after this one <laughs> but yeah if you guys have any questions just let me know Absolutely love this truck, and uh, I recommend it. Thanks, guys.